What's up Chroma fans, Ergonics here with another tutorial video for you. And in my previous tutorial I covered toggles which allows me to keep track as to whether or not my macros are on or off. And in this vi video I'm going to cover timers. Now timers are super handy which you would know if you had seen my previous unfair League of Legends profile. If you haven't seen it I'll put an anno annotation down here in the bottom right. If you have you totally understand how badass timers can be. I use timers for tracking my opponent's flash, heal, ignite, stuff like that in League of Legends. I use timers in Heroes of the Storm for my healing well so I can always know that you know I've got five seconds to run over there, grab it, get back in lane, and keep supporting my, my lane partner. I use it in MMOs or other games that have rare spawns. I set a timer up, I hit it, and after, when I kill a particular mob, I run off, I go do other stuff, when my lights go out, I know that I've got a minute or so to get back there and kill it again. So yeah, let's, let's get into this. Now, I've got six different intervals. I've got one, five, 10, 15, and 30 seconds, and one minute. I found that these are pretty much all I need to get the precise timings for my particular uses. If you need, you know, like a two second timer to multiply by the cycles, then by all means experiment. It, you should be able to figure, figure out what you need fairly easily. I spent most of the day kind of with a stopwatch on my phone and recording videos and advancing them frame by frame to get as precise a time as I can. You don't necessarily have to do that, but I'm kind of a perfectionist like that. All right. So one second timer is 20 keys a second at 120% width means each one of these cycles is one second. Super small, but it's good for precise things like if you need a timer for 43 seconds or 18 seconds or whatever, this is the one you want to use. And all of these are, are multiplicative by the number of times that it runs. Then I've got, uh, this is my five second timer. This is the one that I multiply for my healing well cooldown in Heroes of the Storm. You got 10, 10 keys a second, 270% width, five second timer. Then we have my 10 second timer which is five keys a second at 220% width. My 15 second timer, which is four keys a second at 270% width. My 30 second timer, which is two keys a second at 270% width. And last but not least, my one minute timer, which is one key a second at 265% width. I tried 260 and 270, but it was about one to three seconds out with the time from being exactly one minute. This is still like 80 milliseconds off, but it's as close as you're going to get. So yeah, if you guys found this useful, go ahead and give it a like, a thumbs up. I'm, I'm pretty sure those are the same thing. Uh, subscribe if you want to keep up with new profiles I come up with or profiles that, that I find that are awesome and want to share with everybody or new to more tutorial videos. And if you guys play games and you use timers, tell me what games you're using them in. Tell me what kind of timers you create because I definitely want to hear these things. So yeah, keep on being awesome. Make some awesome profiles. Leave some comments down below if you got feedback or timers or profiles or anything you want to share. Peace out, guys.